Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in Elysburg, Pennsylvania, and even more specifically than that, we are at Knobles, one of my favorite theme parks in all of the world. We've come here today for a birthday party because today is the 50th birthday of Knobles Haunted Mansion. Their amazing, spooky dark ride, one of my favorite dark rides in all the land. I had the opportunity a few years back to do a behind the scenes tour of, uh, of the Haunted Mansion here and it's absolutely probably one of my favorite videos that I've done. I love the details, it's a very vintage uh, dark ride and the, but they actually do do updates to it but they always like like work to keep that vintage feel. They try to keep continuity so it all feels connected. They always switch things around a little bit each year, but it all always has that same spirit to it. So I was invited to come to the 50th anniversary of this classic dark ride and I'm very, very excited to be here. So please follow me. All right, gonna make our way over to the Haunted Mansion where the uh, celebration will take place. Speaking of birthdays, you have this picnic area here. I guess this is probably designed for celebrating birthdays. A giant cake over top these picnic tables. You can see this rotating picnic area here actually is an old carousel turned into a rotating picnic area. But uh, here we are, we, here we are at the Haunted Mansion, people gathering for the uh, birthday festivities. All right, we've got our seats here for the festivities. There's gonna be some speakers here in front of the, uh, the mansion. We've assembled a panel of, of people that have been influential, a part of this ride basically before its inception. We've got Rick, Rick Davis from Daffy. We've got Rick Knoble, John Fetterman, Dave Wynn, Dave Knoble, and myself, Drew Kanaski. The, uh, the haunted mansion in Disneyland was very much on our minds. Uh, but we wanted to do something, uh, we wanted it to have more than edge. Disney, love Disney, but there's always a sweetness to them, and we wanted something that wasn't so sweet. 1974, the day after Memorial Day weekend, when we had large crowds, uh, I think I put three people through the Haunted ha Mansion all day. <laughs> three people. Uh, well, one, it's uh, kept the tradition of the traditional dark ride alive. It's not one of the modern ones that focuses on modern electronics and projectors. Yeah. It's uh, old school mechanical props that move its sound effects, and this has consistently been named our favorite traditional ride, as well as our favorite ride of all types. <laughs> and we would, they would jump out of the car, go over, bash the walls, oh. rip the posters down, and still have time. Oh, the car's almost ready to leave. <laughs> Another trick to do was to get out of the first car if you had two people in, and then get in the second car so that the operators, you know, uh-oh, because there's an empty car just came through. <laughs> well, the best thing about a dark ride is that you can change it. You, know, you can't really change uh, a Ferris wheel or a, uh, you know, Merry Mixer or other flat rides, but um, with a haunted house, you can change it you know, each and every year. And one of the things is that uh, it's full of surprises and you can make a different surprise for those who have you know, continue to ride it. Well, we hope to, uh, you know, we hope to continue to surprise everyone. I know that there were, if you've written this yesterday, you're gonna find a few surprises today that were not there yesterday. We started building this thing, four footers, started laying blocks, didn't know if we were building a haunted house or a new roller skating rink. 
But we know it's going to be 70 feet wide. And it was, of course, it was the same time as the uh, Exorcist movie was out. So we had fun with that, too. <laughs> the dark attraction and funhouse enthusiasts recognized Knobel's Haunted Mansion for providing 50 years of fun in the dark. Knobel's dedication ensures that it will be available for generations to come. Thank you. Thank you. And everyone in the crowd here getting ready to hop aboard the Haunted Mansion. All right, got my $3.50 worth of tickets ready. All right. Get on one of the uh, first cars of the day. And our chariot awaits. These are empty right now. They're going to be filled up with people here momentarily. A lot of people waiting to get their tickets over there at the ticket booth. But, here we go. They said there's gonna be some new things debuting today in the ride. There's the cursed idol. Oh! There's the, oh, the oven monster, and then there's the 50th birthday cake right there. It's the upside down room, the upside down skeletons. Throw in some darts. Oh, big skeleton! You never know what's ahead of you. That's true. Big spider in the attic. Little hands. Ooh, what's that over there? I think that's new. Oh gosh. Oh, the floating skull room. This was an old room that they they brought back. To the some familiar tunes playing there. And here we go. It's into the dungeon here, the torture chamber. See Frankenstein there. Monster trying to get out. This guy right here. to the cemetery. here out front of the mansion got a giant version of the birthday cake there some ants and bugs and eyeballs the fly there on the 50 you have this hearse out here with the skeleton horse driven by a skeleton but actually on the side of the hearse it's where you get your uh, where you get your oh. souvenir <laughs> photos you can view your souvenir there photos is, there for purchase. Are right, gonna ride through with JP Video. You've done, you've been through this a lot, haven't you? Many, many times. Many times. Yeah. So you, you come out here every year and kind of do uh, do the recaps of what's new and uh, exactly updates on the park, re, uh, re renovations of the haunted mansion, and just showcase what the park has to offer. Awesome. Now you were telling me this is yeah, new here. The brand new for today. They have the historic photos here, right along the side here in the mansion. There's the oh. silverware floating. So the silverware they're floating is, is new for today. Yeah. What's new in here? Yeah, some new changes here. That's brand new here. So the typewriter there is brand new. Oh. 
And then I, but then I noticed this mannequin. You said that's new for today. It's been there, but now they have lighting on it. All. Okay, it's lit up, lit up differently today. This is your favorite. This is this is the classic room they brought back. And this dungeon got a major update. When they uh, when they were added some stuff. Look at this. New monsters, new lighting. Classic sign there with a vulture on top. And then you have a ride vehicle here so you can uh, pose and take pictures in it. <laughs> Cosmo, how are you doing? I love love the wizard outfit. That's amazing. Oh, just like the wizard, like just like the wizard in the Haunted Mansion ride. That is so fun. Oh, great to see. You got your magic wand there. Amazing. And your your Piper? Oh, nice to meet you, Piper. I love the, the scarecrow outfit. You got the jack-o'-lantern there on the overalls. Oh. Oh, there you go. Nice little dance, blowing kisses. Oh, so cool. Yeah, you got Cosmo and Piper here for the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion. So cool. And of course, what would a birthday party be without cake? Here's a piece of cake for the uh, Haunted Mansion's birthday. Yeah, here's a sheet cake there. You got some bats and eyeballs on it. And there's a more traditional cake there. Again, with the eyeballs and bats. All right, a little bite of birthday cake here wouldn't be a birthday if you didn't have a little a little bite of cake mm. don't know why had birthday cake it's pretty good i ran into a uh, dark ride dracula here on youtube and um i've actually seen a lot of your videos because you know we, we were interested in the same thing old school dark rides and a lot of times we'll, from the same cloth cut from the same cloth so I, uh, I, you know, when I'm researching old classic dark rides, I stumble upon you guys' videos all the time. So, uh, so you came out here to the birthday today? Yes, 50 year celebration, we had to make it out. It's a classic dark ride. It's old school like we love, and there's just not enough of these left, so we gotta give our patronage what I can. So now we were talking a little earlier, um, what, what, what is your favorite dark ride of all time? Oh, all right, so of all time. Yeah. I'm old school, so Rocky, Rocky Point's House of Horrors would be my first That's an, That would be an extinct attraction. Yeah, it is. But, so, I mean, currently, it's got to be, I mean, all around, it's got to be, and I hate to say this, I'm standing here, right <laughs> it's got to be the Wacky Shack in, in Waldemere. It's the most classic, original Bill Tracy. It's got the most Tracy elements, and it's like, it's, a, it's incredible. It's a toss between that and the Laugh Land, just because I love the original. Yeah, Laugh Land and Sylvan Beach. So yeah, those will be up there with me too. I, I'd say I'd say this and and Wacky Shack probably be, be maybe not one and two. I don't know which order, but uh, but Trimpers has the best facade. Trimpers has the yeah 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 yeah. When you walk, on, that's so amazing. You walk along the boardwalk there. Uh, just to see that with the, the haunted house and the bat and everything. I, I love it. And support your local dark ride. Yeah, absolutely. And if it's not local, go drive. It. Make it local. Make it local. All right, so yeah, check out their check out their channel. It's uh, dark, dark ride, ride dark ride Dracula on YouTube. Thank you so much, guys. It says Haunted Mansion 50th anniversary souvenirs sold here. Let's see what they have as far as souvenirs. I do love this shirt here. Unfortunately, it's not in my size, but it has the different characters from the mansion on the shirt. There's the clock monster, 
There's Igor playing the organ. That's Ishmael. Ishmael Heppel, the, the owner of, uh, of the uh, Haunted Mansion that was cursed. Here he is in his grave. Oh, there's this question mark that maybe that may not be Ishmael. Then you got the uh, the oven monster. There's the, the birthday cake. The welcomer, he jumps, he's one of the first jump scares. Then there's Frank and Ruth. Ruth is Ishmael's wife, if you're following the lore. And then there is the man on the stairs. Also got some uh, haunted mansion pants there. Okay, this is what I was looking for here. The extended sizes. Got the 50th anniversary shirt there. It's got the uh, skeleton there playing the piano on the back. At this one that actually has the uh, physical mansion on the front. And all right, they actually did have one of these in the back in 3X. So I think we're going home with this uh, Haunted Mansion Residence shirt. We got these Haunted Mansion cups here. Noble's Haunted Mansion 50 Frightening Years. Even have a little stocking cap. And this is not available yet, but it will be here uh, this fall. They have a plastic brick version of the Haunted Mansion. You can purchase this and assemble your own Haunted Mansion. Some magnets and stickers here. This again is all the characters on it. You've got a, a crystal ball magnet. You can shake it. It's got the oven monster and the uh, and the vulture in it. There's a haunted uh, haunted mansion smashed penny there, and uh, some really cool stickers there as well. Look at this, they even have Christmas ornament there with uh, with Igor the organ player there. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, I really like this uh, print here. This painting of the haunted mansion. Oh, and then we got a pin there. May need that for the hat. Now they do have some Haunted Mansion themed food items throughout the park today. I'm gonna check and see if we could get something here at the Alamo. And here is our meal for the day. This is the Heppel dog named after Ishmael Heppel, the owner of the Haunted Mansion. See, it's got uh, the really very, very meaty chili on it, as well as jalapenos, and then this is avocado sauce. I'm gonna wash that down with a, a uh, bottle of Haunted Mansion 50th anniversary bottled water. Right, let's give this a try. It's a very thick bun. That is a big, like, bready bun. It's almost like a loaf of bread there. And uh, I don't know, the, the, the hot dog itself actually has peppers in it, so it's a spicy hot dog with with the uh, jalapenos on it. I'm just curious, this, this chili is very thick. Mm. It's really good chili. Yeah, it's really heavy meat chili. But uh, without further ado, there's a slice of cheese on there as well. Alex! Mm. Mm. That is so good. Mm. Jalapeno's not too hot. It's not too crazy, um, it's got some good flavor to it. The avocado sauce is delightful there. And, uh, wash that down with some, some haunted water there. Let's take another bite. Oop. Spilled a little bit there, but yeah, it's an absolute delicious hot dog. They have really good food at Knobles. I love I love this place. The food is awesome. Um, I've not had anything ever ever bad here. It's not your not your traditional amusement park fair. They put some love 
into the food and this is a very excellent uh, very excellent hot dog there mm. so good all right we got Pete Rondeau here now you you are a wizard with with uh, animatronics and and whatnot but yeah, well yeah I guess so but, uh, <laughs> we've been switching off on the carnival rides now. yeah you've been you've been uh, filming carnival carnival rides on YouTube you've been showing the uh, the construction of carnival rides yep. and, and fixing up a few of your own yeah we've got uh, carnival rides in our backyard and uh, trying to get them back to life awesome so you hear you're here checking out some old vintage rides here at Knobles today oh yeah yeah I love Knobles for all I, I love that Knobles has kind of the same mission I do trying to restore and, and keep alive the old rides awesome so it's Pete Rondu on YouTube yep R-O-N-D-E-A-U awesome and it has been the summer of carousels here on the Carpet Bagger channel. And the summer carousels would not be complete without the carousel here at Knobles. And one thing that makes this very special, they're one of only two carousels to have the brass ring arm where you go by, you grab the different rings. There's only one brass ring on there. The other ones are just metal rings. You grab the brass ring and you get a free ride on the carousel. Yeah, very, very rare to see. I think the only other carousel that still has the ring arm is uh, the Santa Cruz Boardwalks carousel. If you look right here, it actually received the Golden Ticket Award many, many years as the best carousel by Amusement Today. Let's find our steed. You want to be on the outside here so that you can reach the brass ring. It's uh, this, here, this here seems like a nice ring grabbing horse. So you have to make a choice if you want a horse that goes up and down or if you want to make take a shot at grabbing the brass ring on a stationary horse. You can see the arm doesn't drop right away. You have to wait for the right moment. Once the ride gets going, the uh, arm will pick up and we'll have a chance to grab us a brass ring. All right, they drop the arm. Gonna reach up here and grab the ring. Oh, missed it. You really have to kind of lean, lean over and grab it. Ah, oh, I threw my fingers. All right, we're gonna get it this time. Oh, I think you gotta hook it. You gotta hook it with your finger like that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, got to hook it and then pull. This is really, really kind of difficult to get yourself a rig. There, got one. Unfortunately, somebody else already got the brass rig. This is just, this is just a metal ring here. I've never gotten the brass rig. And maybe, maybe I never will. And you got to take the extra rings and you gotta throw them in this lion's mouth. The lighthouse, it's a puppet show going on. We got a bench clown here, and he says clowning around at Knobles is fun, and that is indeed the truth there. He's got a little puppy there on his shoulder. So getting the brass ring on the carousel is very hard. So I got an idea, I'm gonna head here into the Brass Ring gift shop here. Flushes of some of the uh, Knobles characters. There's Dexter, we, uh, we saw Cosmo earlier today. They sell different horses in here. 
Well, that one reminds me of, uh, of Blucifer from, uh, from Denver. And they do have a great little miniature carousel museum in here as well. Oh yeah, you can see they have another uh, brass ring arm up there. And you don't see these very often. That's a double seater right there. So brass ring achievement obtained. All I had to do was go into the gift shop and purchase one. So this is an authentic brass ring from uh, Knoebel's Grand Carousel. So this is actually used as a brass ring on the carousel, so that's pretty, pretty cool. And while it is the Haunted Mansion special day, I don't want to ignore the other dark ride here at uh, Knoebel's, the Black Diamond. This used to be uh, in Wildwood, New Jersey on the boardwalk. It was called the Gold Nugget, but it was purchased and brought here and converted to its current state here at Knoebel's. It's kind of a roller coaster, but it has some dark ride elements in it. It's a lot of fun and I'm excited because the uh, last couple of times I've been here, this has not been open. So uh, let's check out the Black Diamond. Get a close look at the ride vehicle here. See, it's actually built like a mine cart, kind of a roller coaster uh, style uh, ride vehicle there. Chariot awaits. We're going to be riding here in the front row. That's the donkeys here. You can see the skeleton hanging upside down as we head into the Black Diamond. Some the workers up there on the top. Oh, there we go, there's a donkey. Yeah, there's the man. The man and his donkey there. Oh, what's that? skeleton holding a canary. Ah, oh, the barrel's falling on us. Up, oh, here we go, a little drop here. Woohoo! <laughs> deeper into the mine here. Giant rat. Oh, what's happening? The mine car there. <laughs> All these terrifying too skeletons. Too late for us. Going on another drop here. Woo <laughs> oh, I think there's a dinosaur. And now we're in Centralia, Pennsylvania, the town that has an eternal mine fire. Real life town here. Oh, see the town is being blown apart. We head through. The tunnel here. Oh, vortex tunnel on a roller coaster. It's pretty intense. Oh, look at these very spooky miners right there. 
<laughs> so good, love it. So I adore the Haunted Mansion, one of my favorite dark rides of all time. But don't sleep, don't sleep on the Black Diamond. The Black Diamond is a pretty amazing dark ride in its own right. Now it is a roller coaster, but probably one of the most leisurely gentle roller coasters you'll ever be on. There's just a few gentle little drops. Mostly it's just meandering on the track through the uh, the dark ride elements. It has the, the spooky coal mine elements to it. And then you go through Centralia, Pennsylvania, which is actually a town that has a, a underground mine fire that's apparently been burning for decades and will burn for hundreds and hundreds of years because there's so much coal underground that it's just gonna continue to burn. All the, you know, the entire city's wrecked, everything. Everyone had to move out because the, the literal ground was on fire and they've incorporated that into uh, this dark ride, which I really love. I think that's a great, uh, some great theming. And here next to the Black Diamond, there is a anthracite mining museum uh, along with a Knobles history museum. Hey there, Pappy. See the miner there with his donkeys. And see the dangling clothes there. Some uh, different helmets worn by coal miners. See a man drilling into the coal there. And I love this dinosaur here, just showing where coal originated from. The dinosaur here in the fern forest. Exhibit on mine rescuing here. See almost the scuba-like apparatus. And this guy getting pulled out of the hole there by, uh, by this harness. And this, uh, bus here was actually used in an old carousel here in Knobles. And then uh, you can see part of the Ferris wheel there on the, on the wall. This is Labor Day is Sadie Hawkins Day. They celebrated Sadie Hawkins Day at uh, Knobles. It's where the, the uh, women pick the men, where the women ask the men out. Have the old skating rink clock here during the birthday celebration. Mr. Knoebel said that uh, when he started building the haunted mansion, he wasn't sure if it was going to be a haunted house or if it was going to be a, uh, a skating rink. So luckily it turned out to be a, uh, a haunted dark ride. Then over here is a time capsule. So this place in 2001 following the 75th anniversary to be opened upon the 100th. So that'll be 2026. I need to come back for that when they uh, when they open uh, open the time capsule. The history of Knobles along the wall here, a timeline. They opened on July 4th, 1926. Yeah, it shows when all the different rides debuted. Yeah, look right here. In 1973, on this day, this very day, in 1973, the uh, Haunted Mansion debuted. Here's the different uh, different mascots. The original mascot was Billy Penn. Remember in uh, 1970, I think he's named for William Penn, the founder of, uh, of Pennsylvania. I've never met Creeper. He is the Halloween mascot. Hopefully I will get to meet him at some point. But today we got to meet uh, Piper. She was uh, dressed up like a scarecrow. And then Cosmo was dressed up like the wizard from the Haunted Mansion today. He is their actual official mascot, debuted in 1988. Up there are some mascot heads. It looks like that is the original uh, Cosmo. And up there that owl is the original mascot. Billy Penn. Now we saw all the great mascots they have here at Knobles, but my favorite mascot is Cornelius here, the mascot of Backyard Barbecue. He says, I'm roasting at the Backyard Barbecue. Look at him. He's got a, uh, a pad of butter for a hat. He's spinning 
the world on his finger like a basketball. Oh, love you, love you, Cornelius. And here you've got uh, Cosmo's uh, fish cousin, Cosmo. His name is Cosmo because, because he's a cod. <laughs> And here it is. This is Flying Turns, the uh, bobsled style wooden roller coaster. I've never had a chance to ride this. And uh, apparently it's a very unique experience. Like I said, sometimes your vehicle actually leaves the tracks and goes into like a bobsled like flume. So uh, it's be a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty interesting roller coaster. Let's, uh, let's check this out. sitting here in the front row all right and here we go you can see it has like flight controls like there as if we were on an airplane so we're going on the flying turns will be like a uh, I'm really interested I've never rode anything like this with a with an actual like bobsled feature to it so uh let's uh, sit back and enjoy the ride Oh, here we go, straight into, straight into the turnpike. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> that's weird. Uh, interesting feeling. There we go. Oh, there we go, picking up some speed. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, there we go, back onto a track and up, up the lift hill here. We go up over the hill. I don't know, is there a drop? Is there a big drop up here maybe? <laughs> All right, going back into okay, big old, big old uh, turnpike here. Or what do we? What would you call this? Oh my gosh! Woo! Oh, we went all the way up the side! Oh! Wow! Gosh, that's that's insane! Oh my gosh, so that is in freaking insane! Oh! Oh! I don't know if I like that! Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh! oh. It says here the, the uh, Flying Turns was inspired by a wooden bobsled ride from Coney Island, New York. And they actually have out here one of the original uh, ride vehicles from the Coney Island version of the ride. This right here is the Looper, and it may be one of the most insane looking uh, amusement park rides I've ever seen. It's, uh, this is apparently the only one still in operation. They do preserve a lot of rides here at uh, Knobles that you wouldn't normally see in other places. I find this interesting though. This was made uh, by the Allen Herschel uh, Company of North Tonawanda, New York. They uh, generally make carousels. So this is a very interesting version of the carousel. And just look at this thing. It's almost like little hamster wheels. The, the people sit in there and rock back and forth, try to uh, Tried to get it to roll as it, I guess so I guess technically it is a carousel because it does go around. It's not not a merry-go-round, but it is a carousel. You can see them kind of rocking their bodies, getting the momentum. I don't know if the, the, the things can turn all the way around or not. It looks like they're gonna they're gonna find out. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh yeah, that one just went all the way around, so they can completely flip. That looks so nauseating i i would probably get sick to my stomach riding this thing oh my gosh look just look at that all right let's go fire some shots over here at the old shooting gallery see s ozarks out here in front with his rifle a wonderful scene here 
at the old shooting gallery. Got this guy with his gun. This woman back here is cooking something. And there appears to be like an old mummified goat head or something there on the stove. They got some uh, taxidermy there, some skunks, some squirrels. Got that guy in the bathtub. There's a old lady with a gun and a frying pan. Some quarters in here. All right, we got six, 16 shots here with our rifle. Let's make them, uh, make them count. Oh, there we go. Made the squirrel move. Oh, made the skunk spray in that guy's face there. Let's see. Oh, made that guy pump the bathtub. Let's see what this lady does. Oh, she just shouts something at us. Let's see this guy with the. Oh! Points his gun at us. I think we can shoot him in the knee there as well. Missed the varmint that time, Sarah. He missed the varmint that time. Oh my gosh. There we go, the buzzard. Might be easy to hit this guy right here. Uh, make his, make his uh, hat spin. The moonshine still there. Let's see what happens with the. Oh! She thought it makes him drink, drink his whiskey. There we go. Get the car to open up there. See if we can get the outhouse. Oh, there we go. Do it. I can do it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> now, what about this woman over here? The, the cooking woman. Oh. Gee, why don't you go in that tilapia and go sell some of that moonshine? Where are we going? Oh, no. Now the Grand Carousel is not the only carousel here at the Nobles. This carousel here is from 1912. The Clamshell Theater over here. Here's another carousel-like ride called the Spanish Bambini. See a very interesting uh, mixture of ride vehicles there. Got automobiles and uh, animals, an ostrich. There's uh, a rocket ship, a tank down there. And in the middle, see some people rotating there, a police officer, and it looks like some, uh, some jungle. Explorers. It's a very, very different, uh, very different kind of uh, of carousel here. Peek through the fence here at uh, Knobles bumper cars. Now people say that the Knobles bumper cars are the best bumper cars in the world, and I actually agree. They uh, they control so much better than your standard bumper car. They're, they're very very tight controls to them. Oh yeah, see some people uh, smash, oh there we go, smashing into each other. Yep, right over here. Scooters rated in USA Weekend as the best bumper cars in America. Alright, we gotta find our car here. They said there's a orange car in the back. I guess one, one car left for me. Oh. oh no, hopefully I don't run into anyone. Ah. Oh no, oh there we go, we made it. See here. Oh no, oh, oh I bumped into somebody. Oh, oh gosh, someone bumped into me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry. Oh my, oh my God, brutal. Oh jeez. Oh no. <laughs> I got turned around. Oh no, don't hit me. Don't bump me. 
Okay, 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 there we go. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, it's also a very intense, very intense bumper car ride. A lot of high impact smashing. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! I'm going the wrong way in traffic! All right, let's get this turned around. Oh no! Everyone's all... <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh god! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, there we go. Almost lost control. Oh! Oh no! Oh, everyone's running into me. Let's get. Oh! Oh! All right, all right, all right. Get away from the wall. Here, how do you? Get away. the newest ride that they are bringing here to Knoebels, the classic amusement ride, the Bivern Curve. And I'll have to come back and, and ride it and experience it for myself. It says there are five operating in the world, so a very rare uh, amusement park ride here. They actually have a second flume drop here called the Skloosh. The Skloosh. Love this big Viking here in front of the skloosh. See people gathering on the bridge here to uh, watch the skloosh come crashing down. Let's see, uh, see how soggy this is. There's a couple people there still on the bridge. Oh my gosh, look at that. I think we may have found it. I think we may have found the soggiest the soggiest water ride I have ever seen. Those people on the bridge got absolutely drenched. And these people, these people look pretty, these people look pretty wet. Look how wet and soggy all these people look. Again, again, again! So thank you for joining me here today. The 50th anniversary of one of my all time favorite dark cars, the Haunted Mansion here at Knoebels. And I admit, I, I went on a bit of a splurge here. I, uh, I spent, spent a lot of money on Haunted uh, Mansion merchandise. I bought, I ended up buying the print there. You know, I'll be moving back in to my home uh, very soon. And I purchased some other artwork of Dark Ride, so I thought that would be a perfect addition, uh, addition to, to my home. Also, they were running a special on um, on ride vehicle photos. You could get uh, photos riding the uh, the Haunted Mansion there for they were doing a five dollar sale, which is pretty cool. And they have a one a one day only frame on uh, on these pictures where they actually have the birthday cake right there, the uh, 50th birthday cake for the Haunted Mansion, so that is pretty cool. There's me. The, it takes your picture when the when the, the truck, when the big truck honks at you, that's when it uh, when it snaps your picture at the scariest, the scariest possible uh, moment there. So yeah, I got the, I got all the stickers, all, uh, all the magnets. I bought uh, two, two shirts. So I'm, I'm, I'm stocked up on, uh, on Knoebel's Haunted Mansion uh, merchandise. Uh, I really love this park. This park, I, this park is a very special place, in, in, in my opinion. Um, there's a little bit of something for everyone. They have real, um, real highly rated roller coasters. They have a lot of kids rides. Uh, they have the dark ride. Still, there's something, something for everyone here, and they they do make an effort to preserve history, preserve these classic amusement park rides that um, a lot of parks get rid of or don't want anymore. They actually they're actually bringing in new uh, rides from other parks that are that are retired that are almost unheard of these days. So love to see it. I will definitely be back 
to Knoebels before too long. I never like to uh, go too long without visiting Knoebels. By the way, I, 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 you know, I should mention this, I just throw this out there, it is free to park, it is free to go inside. You pay, you buy tickets, you pay for the rides. Rides are about, uh, I think it's $3.50, to ride uh, the Haunted Mansion. It's about, I think, $4 to ride uh, some of the roller coasters. So very, uh, very reasonably priced. And if you have, you know, you're going with a big family, if you have certain people in your family who don't like riding rides, they can still come and, and enjoy the other parts of the park. So a great park. I, I always say, dollar for dollar, dollar for dollar, your best, the best theme park in America. I don't think there's any question to that, you know, for what you pay and what you get. I think this is, this is it. This is the, uh, the best theme park for your dollar. But uh, thank you guys so much for joining me on this special day here at Knoebels. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country uh, to visit different roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop and doing cameos, personalized messages, greetings, uh, birthdays, anniversaries, just for fun. All the information is in the description of this video and all that helps keep this roller coaster on the track, this galoosh in the water and this dirigible high in the air. Until next time my friends, this one's in the bag.